morning guys or good afternoon or good evening don't know where you are ah my voice oh my gosh okay does this happen to anyone else when i wake up my voice just like always breaks like this <laughs> i don't know why that happens anyway um i'm gonna be doing my skincare routine both daytime skincare routine as well as nighttime skincare routine and I'm going to be honest, it has changed very drastically. Um, you guys will see in today's video that it's like pretty simplified. I might add a few steps, like additional steps that I like to do sometimes. Uh, but I'll also make sure to specify what my like actual daytime and nighttime skincare routine is because it's quick and easy. Hey guys, camera's charged and we are ready to go. And let's go ahead and get started with my daytime skincare routine. Actually, I'm going to first just use a little bit of lip balm because my lips are so so dry and this lip balm right here 1010 okay 1010 for the packaging i'm obsessed with it i think it's so pretty and it's honestly more like the actual what am i looking for the formula the texture of it it feels more like a lip gloss in a little pot versus a lip balm but it's really nice on the lips as well it's from tatcha so my face is completely dry and i don't know if you guys are going to be able to see but my skin is just like completely like so 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 dry in the morning and it feels tight so i have to layer on products like right after i wake up and wash my face and of course the first is a vitamin c serum this is from paula's choice this is called the boost c15 super booster serum now this is not going to feel like super hydrating or anything like that it's very like watery do we see that but on the skin when you apply it it actually feels really really nice and it like immediately adds a beautiful glow to the skin. But for anyone like new or wanting to try out vitamin C serums, I can't recommend it enough. It helps to even out your skin, helps with fine lines, wrinkles, helps to brighten up your skin, which for me is like definitely like my biggest skin concern. It's just like dull skin. And this does all of that. So I really, really love this, highly recommend it. And I'm like almost done with this. So to add a layer of hydration, I have to share this cream right here. This is my daytime moisturizer from Wasu. I hope I'm saying that right. Wasu from Shiseido. But this is like a gel cream, okay? But this texture of a moisturizer, I have truly never felt in my life. It is not your typical gel cream. This legit feels like a very thick, rich moisturizer. It feels like silicone-y. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean that in the best way possible. I really encourage you guys to try this out if you're looking for a lightweight moisturizer that still adds a burst of hydration. This is my go-to. Love it. 100% recommend it. Okay, next up and last step in my daytime skincare routine is my SPF. And I'm currently using the Innisfree Daily UV Defense Sunscreen. It is a very lightweight formula. And I just kind of apply a good amount of it all over my skin. And then there goes my phone. Okay, every time without fail when I'm filming my phone rings. But anyway, as I was saying about this SPF, I love it. You saw how quickly they just like blended out on my skin. It feels so nice. And I would even say if you have like oily combo skin, you could just use your vitamin C serum in the morning and then just use this as like a moisturizer and an SPF in one because it really, really adds such a beautiful glow to the skin and a lot of hydration. And again, it's a great SPF to use in the morning time because it also doubles as a makeup primer as well. Okay, that is really my morning time skincare routine. Here is a close up of my skin. Love the glow. Now I'm gonna go ahead, kind of do my makeup, get ready for the day, do a little bit of work. And then I'm gonna come back later in the evening and show you guys how I um, take off my makeup and also my nighttime skincare routine. So stay tuned for that. I'll talk to you guys very soon. Okay guys, so it is officially nighttime and it's time for me to take off my makeup. Hopefully the echo is not too much. Let me just open this door because I feel like the echo is gonna be kind of annoying um but i do have a full face of makeup on today okay so the first thing i want to do is of course take off the lashes i know there's probably a better way to do it but this is just how i like to remove my lashes and they come off so easily um and then the second step to removing my makeup is to use this baby right here i have talked about this for so long it is my favorite my favorite my favorite 
said it so many times but this is the pharmacy green clean cleansing balm and you don't need a whole lot of product like that much this is probably even too much and you just want to like rub your hands together so you get the product fully like melted and then on dry skin not wet skin that's really important because otherwise it's not really gonna work you want to just like massage all over your face like this and then I will like slowly make my way on my eyes and you can see it's like already starting to like break down my mascara and everything so I'm gonna quickly do this and then I'm gonna rinse my face with water and then I'll come back and I'll show you guys step two which is uh, my actual face wash okay fam so my makeup is all completely removed from my face and now I'm going to deep clean my skin and for that I'm going to be using this face wash right here which is so shocking because you guys know I love my fresh soy face cleanser that will forever be my number one favorite but this one I'm really liking as well so this this is from Derma E it's called the ultra hydrating alkaline cloud cleanser it has hyaluronic acid and snow mushroom and this is a foaming cleanser but i don't really use them too too much because i find them to be like overly drying on my skin but the formula of this one is so amazing that i find this to be like so lightweight if that makes sense or like soothing on the skin and it does not feel drying or stripping on the skin after i wash my face i'm gonna wash my face with some water and then we'll go to the another part of the apartment and then i'll show you guys the rest of my skincare okay guys so it is actually the next day i was just reviewing the footage from last night where i finished the rest of my skincare routine and i wasn't happy with it because it was just too dark you couldn't really see my skin as well as i wanted you to so with the power of editing i'm filming this again the next day after washing my face to show you guys the rest of my skincare routine so let's go ahead and get started now this serum i have talked about for such a long time but i love it so much especially for the winter time it's the advanced genifique serum and i love 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 how this feels on my skin it is this like gel type formula and the best part is that it is just so lightweight on the skin it literally just like gets absorbed into my skin so easily and quickly and it adds such a nice glow to the skin it feels so plumping on the skin so hydrating and i find that when i use this as kind of like my base serum and apply all the products on top they just like layer even better so i really really love this and again i just want to say i think that this is a product that will work on all different skin type so if you are looking for a hydrating serum that feels really lightweight on the skin that plumps up your skin adds a really nice glow especially in the winter time when my skin is just so dry i know for a fact that you guys are going to love this okay next up i'm going to actually layer on another serum and i'm all about layering products in the winter time this is like an optional step for me i don't do this every night but some nights i do like to do this and a type of ingredient that i've really incorporated into my skincare routine especially now at 32 is retinol and i just started using this i really want to use this even more so stay tuned maybe in a future video i'll kind of give you guys an update on this but as of right now we're just using it for a few days my skin is loving this so this is the peter thomas roth even smoother glycolic retinol resurfacing serum and it has 15 percent glycolic acid and 1.5 time released micro encapsulated retinol so this is basically anti-aging um, it's going to help even out your skin uh, it also is going to brighten up your skin because it does have the glycolic acid in it and this is what it looks like it is this like creamy serum so it feels actually so hydrating on the skin retinol now is also a must for me um, because it's such a what's the word i'm looking for like it's like such a proven there you go proven ingredient to be anti-aging so i'm definitely incorporating that into my skincare routine so so far i'm really liking this and uh, i'll keep you guys posted on this maybe on instagram or something or maybe a future youtube video okay next up is eye cream and i'm definitely starting to notice some like crow's feet around my eyes let me zoom you guys in do you guys see it kind of do you see it a little bit it's like very subtle but i just think like all about prevention uh, versus like trying to fix something and so i am very much into eye creams i have this one right here from murad i've also talked about this one a bunch from lancome this is their um advanced genifique i'm like literally almost done with this this is a very hydrating eye cream oh and look who it is it's Kobe bear hi Kobe. he's right here right next to me <laughs> 
But anyway, I'm gonna actually just talk about this product right here because I feel like I've talked about this cream a lot on Instagram. I love this, by the way. But again, another retinol product. Um, this is from Murad. This is called the Retinol Youth Renewal Eye Serum. And so I just take one pump of it, like this much product, that's probably also too much. And I just layer this around my eyes. It's like very, very lightweight. So you can really layer this on and not feel like it's like heavy around the eyes whatsoever. And I'll also just like go above my eyes like this and kind of just let this sit there. And this just, again, adds a really nice layer of hydration around the eye area. Again, because this does have the retinol, it is anti-aging and I just love using this at night around my eye area and just concentrating it there. Okay, now this is my last step and probably one of my favorite products. Now I'm just gonna kind of preface by saying that this is a very luxurious product. It is a pricey product, but my gosh, my skin loves it so much. It's again from Lancome and it's the Absolute Soft Cream. And I just wanna show you guys how much product I have left after using it for such a long time now. This is such a rich moisturizer that a little bit is all that you need. Maybe I'll just take a little bit more, but a little bit of product goes such a long way. And my very dry skin absolutely loves this. You really, really have to try out this product to understand what I'm talking about in terms of like the level of moisture and hydration that it gives my skin. And look at the glow that it adds on my skin. It's amazing. Okay, one last product I also quickly wanted to share is a facial roller. Now this one again is from Lancome, but you can find facial rollers from so many different brands. I love my jade roller, picture right here. I have an ice roller from Amazon, again, picture right here. Those are all great options, but for me, I love to just take a facial roller and just like massage my skin at the end of the night. I don't even do this in the bathroom. I just do this like when I'm done with my skincare, I'll just bring this roller out and kind of chill in the living room right behind me, watch TV and just do this. And it's so relaxing, me time for sure. And it feels incredible, like so, so, so incredible. I love it and I recommend a facial roller to everyone. And with that, we have made it to the end of this video, but I hope you guys enjoyed this and um, I will be linking all the products that I mentioned today in the description box below, so definitely check there. Please, please, please um, subscribe on your way out. I have a goal of hitting 500,000 subscribers on YouTube this year, so I would love it if you can subscribe. Um, it would mean the world to me. And of course, I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye everyone. Mwah.